early holiday savings have arrived at Tanger Outlets. Discover the best gifts from your favorite brands, perfect for everyone on your list. And stack your savings with up to 70% off, plus an extra 15 to 25% off only during Tanger Style. Save at Polo Ralph Lauren, Old Navy Outlet, Under Armour, Skechers, J. Crew Factory, and more. Hurry in. These early holiday deals last through November 24th. Tanger Outlets. More savings, more cheer. You're so coy, alluring, angel with a wicked smile, sleeping 20 hours a day, never lay a paw on dusty clay. I'll keep your litter natural, no chemicals in your nostrils, just corn below, so every time you go, you'll know your shh don't stink. Don't world's stink. best cat litter for the world's best cat. Real Life Real Crime is a true crime podcast brought to you by Woody Overton and executive producer Toby Templey. sexual nature it should be for people that are 18 years or older heed my warning people i do not get the facts of these cases off of the internet or from some television show the facts we're retelling you were presented to us by the victims of the crimes or the perpetrators who committed the crimes against the victims my description of the crime scenes are what i saw with my own two eyes if you're gonna get offended Please turn this podcast off now. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's Woody Overton, your host of Real Life, Real Crime, the podcast. And I'm coming to y'all today to say thank you, thank you, thank you for making our Facebook page, our private group, Real Life, Real Crime, friends, fans, and crew, pass 30 thousand members y'all and now actually today it's at like 30,500 members and that's because you lifers are out there constantly inviting other people to join the group now look it's a private group it's true crime uh, it's not for everybody but it's awesome if you like real life real crime you get to see me interact with all all the fans and all, all the, the lifers interacting with each other and there's a lot of discussion on the stories. There's a lot of true crime posts. But it is a private group. We don't just let anybody in. So uh, if you want to join, if you like Real Life Real Crime, submit a request to Real Life Real Crime Friends, Fans, and Crew. That's K-R-E-W-E. That's a Louisiana play on words. And one of our Dream Team moderators, who are the best in the world, will get you approved to join the group. And... Uh, y'all join, and if you like it, keep doing what you're doing, inviting other people. I mean, over 30,500 on a private crew page, that's pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. So I told y'all if when we reached 30,000 that I was going to tell a couple little quick funny stories, and I am. But I want to, again, tell everybody thank you. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Lifers rule. You're the best fans in the world. I put you up against anybody, right? A uh, couple quick updates. Courtney Coco, the 
our fine governor, John Bell Edwards, has put a moratorium on any courtroom proceedings, including Pettit and grand juries, until March the 1st. So you're not going to hear anything in, in until after March the 1st, and that's due to COVID. So I certainly hope you're staying safe and you're staying well. Um, hope everybody is getting vaccinated or whatever. I'm going to tell you, yesterday I had to take my father to the hospital. He fell and um, had to take him by ambulance to the hospital. And we were in a big emergency room, an emergency room that I've been to a hundred times as a detective. You know, after people get shot, et cetera, you have to go in and interview them, uh, victims of crimes or rapes or whatever. And listen, you couldn't, there wasn't a spot in this emergency room that wasn't didn't have a bed shoved on a wall somewhere. There wasn't an empty spot all the way around the nurses' stations. There was no rooms. I mean, COVID is the real deal. People are seriously in trouble, and these hospitals are seriously overwhelmed. So I'm just praying that we can come out of this. Man, we just got to get past COVID. Our live shows, we still got them coming, y'all. We just got to get past COVID. So anyway, I don't know. And uh, Miss Barbara Blunt's case, please continue to call in your tips. I appreciate it. And we are working on it. But again, we are underneath COVID. Everybody is strained to the limits. And that, the difference on this one in Courtney Coco's case is you had Sheriff Jason Ard and his crew of detectives, true professionals, and they want to solve this case. But you can only do what you can do when your hands are tied by, and the pandemic's at the worst it's ever been. So... I don't know, but, uh, so prayers for everybody. Thank you so much for uh, liking us and sharing us. And I mean, we, we're, our, our numbers are growing phenomenally. I can't believe during COVID this whole time, we've grown so much on well over 3 million listens now, way past that mark. Uh, um, but it's because y'all liking us and sharing us, et cetera. Uh, patron members love you. I appreciate you so much. And, and you are going to be getting a, patron only episode this week and it's going to be later on in the week i'm not doing a regular episode but you're going to get a patron only bonus episode for the patron vault um you patron members who have taken advantage of the yearly you know pay the yearly discounts what it is you get two months off if you paid the year in advance i appreciate y'all doing that you know that you do not have to wait on your benefits. It, if it's a three months and you get the T-shirt or whatever, you pay that, you get it automatically. So if we owe you something, the phone calls. I'm loving talking to y'all. Uh, 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 yeah, some awesome lifers out there that I've got to talk to, and you know who you are. But if we owe you something and we're not up on it, please message um, me or Cindy Overton, and we will get you taken care of, Okay. Can't be a patron member. I get it. I understand these are hard times, and and I love you all anyway. Um, if you go to iTunes and leave me a review, or and you know subscribe to Real Life Real Crime, so you don't have to wonder when the the latest episode is dropped. You'll get a notification. It's free anywhere that you listen to podcasts, y'all. You can subscribe to us. So the I just want to thank everybody and I'm going to tell you some really stupid stupid funny stories just a couple because I promised you I would uh, uh they're not full length stories and that but I'm going to tell you let me just get to it all right so in the state of Louisiana there is a law it, it's Louisiana revised statute 14 semicolon 285 it's called harassing telephone or telephonic or electronic communications. So if you call somebody up and you do prank calls like we did when we were kids, you know, but you do it to the point where you're harassing them, you can actually be charged with it. And I get, had this one guy years ago. I'm not, I'm not going to say what department I was with or anything because I don't know where it's at in adjudication on the case. But this guy was a full-blown nut job in um, he would look up these people's, now this will tell you how old it was. He would look up these people's numbers in the phone book back for those of you who don't know what phone books were back in the day, we didn't have the internet and all that. Right. But, uh, you had the phone book. So you could like, if you want to look up Woody Overton, you go to the O's and look up under Overton until you find my name. Right. And then, 
a lot of times it'll have your street address, et cetera. This guy would go through the phone book and pick out people and uh, write down their names and Hey, y'all, let me tell you about Gobble. All Gobble Meal Kits are pre-prepped. That means less work for you and less waste in your kitchen. Their meal kits include everything you need so you can save time at the store or just skip that trip entirely. I got the box in and I had three different meals. I had a Kung Pao chicken, crispy fish tacos, and a beef boom jignon. However you say it, but let me tell you about the classic beef boom jignon. Look, it came with beef pot roast and a beef broth concentrate, red wine demi glaze, cremini mushrooms, siapelloni onions, mashed potatoes, baby carrots, and rosemary thyme butter. It was so easy to make. Literally like 15 minutes it took Cindy. And let me tell you something. All the dishes were fire. But this thing was like a taste explosion in my mouth. It's just un real we've got to spend more time together and more time doing the things we love because everything came in this one single box right to my door so see what a difference gobble will make for your household right now they're all for my listeners a fantastic limited time deal you get a hundred and twenty dollars off across four boxes plus free shipping and free cookies. And let me tell you, those cookies, I ate one that was sin baked and it was delicious. Go to gobble.com slash real life. That's G-O-B-B-L-E dot com forward slash real life for $120 off your first four boxes. This offer is not available on the home site, so don't miss out. This is genius. It's taste explosions in your mouth like you've never had. Spark something uncommon this holiday with just the right gift from Uncommon Goods. The busy holiday season is here, and Uncommon Goods makes it less stressful with incredible hand-picked gifts for everyone on your list, all in one spot. Gifts that spark joy, wonder, delight, and that's exactly what I want it feeling. Hey, y'all, I ordered a super cool piece. It's a candle with a sculpture of LSU's Tiger Stadium on top of it. And each officially licensed laser-cut wooden replica features up to four layers of detail, creating a bird's-eye view of a specific football field, seating section, and more. And every label includes your stadium's name, the team's logo, and school location. And it has a coconut soy vegan wax infused with sandalwood smell that creates tailgates and touchdowns scent profile, reminiscent of game day. It's invigorating like fresh-cut grass and nostalgic like smoke from a pre-game grill. And calming like the crisp autumn air of a new semester on campus. Y'all, I love it. I have it at the base of my TV, and I'm ready to watch the Tigers play on Saturday night, right? Uncommon Goods. Look, when you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. And many of their handcrafted products are made in small batches. So shop now before they sell out this holiday season. Uncommon Goods looks for products that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or made in the U.S., They have the most meaningful, out-of-the-ordinary gifts anywhere. They even have gifts you can personalize. From holiday hosts and hostess gifts to the coolest finds for kids, to hits for everyone from the book lovers to diehard sports fans, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone, not the same old selection you can just find anywhere. And with every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods, they give $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice. They've donated more than $3 million to date. So to get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash R-L-R-C. That's uncommongoods.com slash R-L-R-C for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods, we're all out of the ordinary. Memorize or, or write down the street addresses and he would come up with some prank to play on them. And I'm going to do maybe two or three that are not X-rated for y'all and patron members that you're dropped that you're going to get this week. I'm going to do five or six that are, that are all X-rated because his X-rated ones were really uh, <laughs> pretty explicit. So what he would do, and he was obsessed with it. I mean, he would do it all day long. He would he would look up people and he would call them and try to get a reaction out of them. So let me tell you one that pops into my mind. Which one do I want to start with? It's not X-rated. Okay, so he found an ad 
in the paper for this lady that was selling golden retriever puppies, right? So he calls the number. And he, he uh, for him, almost as important as doing the act of the funny phone call, not funny phone call, but the harassing phone call, he recorded everything. This dumbass recorded every single one of these calls, and I wish I had access to them, although I probably couldn't play them uh, because, like I said, I don't know what happened on the adjudication. And really, I wouldn't want to play them because uh, the victim's names would be in it. But he, lo he looked up a lady that was selling golden retriever puppies, all right? and it said, that said whatever for sale for however much, et cetera. So he calls it up, the phone rings, and she answers and says, hello. And he says, hi, uh, this is Steve Johnson. I, I see your ad in the paper for um, the Golden Retriever puppy. She, she said, yes, sir, and how can I help you? He said, well, how how big are they? And she said, well, they're they're all, you know, four or five pounds. They're growing really good, and, um, and they're about eight weeks old now. And he said, that's good, that's good, yeah, yeah. I like golden retrievers. She said, yes, sir, it's a fine breed. He said, yes, ma'am, it is. He said, um, w w what are you feeding them? And she said, well, I feed them uh, a puppy chow, uh, a puppy dog mix. And he's, she said, but, you know, they're past the stage of having to eat it where it's soft. And she said, I don't have to wet it down anymore. It's hard now. And he said, hmm. He said, so, the, but he said, let me back up. And he said, are they big enough to eat yet? She said, yeah, I just told you I'm, I'm feeding them in, in puppy chow. And he said, oh, okay, that's right. That's right. You told me that. He said, he said why are you feeding them puppy chow? She said, well, that's because that's what my vet recommends. He said, mm -mm. He said, that's, that's no good. And she said, what do you mean? He said, puppy chow makes the meat taste sour. And she said, what? What do you mean? He said, you need to feed them cornbread and milk. And she said, what are you talking about? And he said, cornbread milk makes the meat taste sweet. That puppy chow you feed them is some nasty shit. It makes the meat taste sour. She said, what, 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 wait a minute. What do you want to do with these puppies? He said, I want to eat them. And she said, what? He, and he, he said, she said, these puppies make great pets. And he said, bitch. Lots of puppies make great pets, he said, but golden retriever puppies are good to barbecue. And he said, I want to get them puppies and skin them out and put them in the barbecue pit and eat them. She said, you're not getting one of my puppies. He said, bitch, I'm going to come over there and get all your puppies. And click, she hangs up on him, right? So this gives you the mindset of this guy. Just a nut job. Uh, let me think of another one. He called He called FedEx, all right? And he and, uh, the lady answered, this is FedEx. Uh, we fly any, their motto used to be way back then, we fly anything or uh, we deliver anything anywhere, anytime, right? And it, so he called and, he, and it's just, this is FedEx. Um, we, we deliver anything anywhere, whatever the motto was. And he said, good, good, good. This is uh, Bob Johnson. She said, well, Mr. Johnson, how can I help you? And he said, well, I got a package I need delivered. Um, she said, yes, sir, that's what we do. He said, good, good. He said, well, uh, she said, what do you have? And and where's it going? He said, well, I, I need a package to go from um, uh, Mexico, uh, Monterey, Mexico, to Minneapolis, Minnesota. She said, okay. She said, we can work with you on that. He said, good, good. The uh, She said, so what do you have? And he said, well, I have 150 pack mules I need flown from Monterey, Mexico to Minneapolis, Minnesota. And she stopped and paused. He said, ma'am, are you there? She said, yes, sir, I'm here. And he said, well, you're FedEx, right? And, he, and, and she said, yes, sir. And he said, well, I need these pack mules flown from Mexico to Minneapolis, Minnesota. She said, well, sir, we don't fly pack mules. He said, what do you mean? She said, I mean, we don't fly pack mules. He said, your ad says you fly anything, anywhere, anytime. She said, well, yes, sir, not pack mules, though. And he said, well, I'm going to have to sue you for false advertisement. He said, well, wait a minute. Is, is it a matter of them pooping on your plane? He said, because I can hire somebody with a pooper scooper to sit behind them and, and, and pick up the poop when they poop on your plane. She said, no, sir. 
It's not a matter of having someone with a pooper scooper. We do not fly pack mules. And he said, well, bitch, what am I supposed to do with 150 pack mules? And she's kind of wise to it. It was a prank caller now, right? She says, well, I guess you're going to have to ride them one at a time from Monterey, Mexico to Minneapolis, Minnesota. And he said, you one dumb bitch. He said, if I had to ride them one pack mule at a time from Monterey, Mexico to Minneapolis, Minnesota, they'd be plumb wore out when they got to Minnesota and wouldn't be any fun for sex games. And <laughs> she hung up on him. Uh, let me take another one. All right, I, I, this was a little bit X-rated, but it's not so bad. He called this lady, and no, no, I, 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 I'll do, I'll do another. One. He got, called this lady and I got her name, and uh, let's say it was Susie Smith, right? Whatever. And he said, um, he, and she answered the phone. She said, "Hello." He said, "Is this is this Susie Smith?" He said, "Yes, it is." He said, yeah, "Susie Smith of one five one five Mayflower Street in in uh, Scranton, Texas." Uh, y- yes, sir, it is. And and he said, well, this is Ted Harris with the Singer Harris Corporation in Dallas, Texas. How are you doing? She said, I'm doing fine, sir. How are you? And he said, well, I'd be doing a lot better if you didn't owe me $3,000. She said, what are you talking about? He said, you owe me. He said, you owe me $3,000. She said, I don't understand what you're talking about, sir. He said, I, you came to my store. And you bought $3,000 worth of merchandise and you took it and you said you was going to pay us and you hadn't paid us. And and so you're a thief and I want my money or I want my merchandise. And she said, I don't never heard of you before and I don't know what you're talking about. And he said, you are Susie Smith of 1515 Mayflower Street. And she said, that's correct. He said, well, and she said, who did you say you were again? He said, I'm Ted Harris with the Singer Harris Corporation in Dallas, Texas, bitch, and you owe me money. She said, I never heard you anybody talk to me like that. And she said, I don't have your merchandise, and I've never been to your store. He said, for real? She said, yeah, for real. And he said, well, then you don't mind that I got four guys coming down there to ransack your fucking house and look for my shit, do you? And he, she said, what? He said, that's right, bitch. They were about to kick in your motherfucking door and ransack your house and tear your shit apart. And she hung up on him. But just goes to show you the, the mindset of this cat. And he's just out the box. And um, I'll do you one more little funny one. And y'all, this this again is a thank you for inviting uh, people. But this is it is a true crime. It's a real crime. 14285, harassing um harassing electronic or telephonic uh, communications. And I'm going to do this one. And this one is for adults only. So he called, and this this lady answers phone. She says, hello. There's a little old lady. He said, hello. And uh, he said, is, is, is Lucius? Hey, ladies. Are you feeling overwhelmed by hormonal changes? Well, you're definitely not alone. There are more than 1,000 hormone disruptors living in our environment right now. It's sending your food, your water, the air you breathe, the clothes you wear, your skincare products. They all mess with your hormones. Then there's the natural hormone changes your body goes through. Premenopause, menopause. And while it's a natural process, it doesn't mean you have to suffer through it. The good news is you don't have to suffer through it anymore because now you have hormone harmony a formula made only with herbal ingredients that are shown to reduce hormonal symptoms in women of all ages. Hormone harmony is not just a hormone support and supplement. It's become a phenomenon. Women can't stop talking about it on social media. A bottle of hormone harmony is sold every 24 seconds. And the biggest benefit? Well, my wife says it makes her feel like her own self again. And that's what women mention over and over in the reviews. And there are over 30,000 reviews for Hormone Harmony. And for a limited time, you can get 15% off your entire first order at happymammoth.com. Just use code RLRC at the checkout. That's happymammoth.com and use code RLRC for 15% off today. That's H A P P Y M A M M O T H dot com and use code R L R C. Johnson there. And she said, she said, no, no, he's not here. 
He said, well, where is he? And she said, well, he's down at the ballroom. And he said, oh, okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, he told me he's probably going to be going down there. She said, well, who is this? He said, this is Mac, Mac Creed. I said, okay, Mr. Mac. She said, uh, can I take a message for him? He said, no, no, I don't think so. He said, when is he going to be back from that ballroom? And she said, oh, he's going to be back in, later on this evening. I imagine he, you know, he likes to go down to the ballroom. He said, yeah, yeah, that motherfucker likes to drink, doesn't he? She said, she said yeah, well, he likes to go down there and have him a beer or two on Fridays. And he said, well, she said, you sure I can't leave him a message? She said, well, no, I was just going to call him and see if it's all right if I come down there and get a little pussy from you. And she said, well, you know, she said, what you say? He said, I said, I was calling him to see, I was calling Lucius to see if it was all right if I come down there and get a little pussy from you. She said, pussy, you must want to get killed. He said, no, bitch, I don't want to get killed. I want some pussy. And she said, well, I never. He said, that's not what Lucius say. Lucius say you be giving that pussy out all the time. And she said, fuck you. And he said, fuck you. That's what exactly what I want to do. And she hung up on him. So anyway, I, I could do these forever. I'm trying to remember some more of the stupid, funny ones. But um, anyway, it just goes on and on. I just wanted to make y'all smile today. And I appreciate you. Anyway, Patreon members, you, you'll you get a full-length episode uh, later on this week. I'm going to be recording, taking the week off from the regular Real Life Real Crime. Uh, we concluded Monsters, the series, or I concluded that last week. Tough series, right? And, and I am in going to be talking to our state rep about getting that, cha- that law changed where certain people cannot get a pardon. And I will do a call out to all lifers. When that happens, um, it was, you know, a story needs to be told. People need to know that, that that can actually happen or that actually happened and can't happen again if we don't do something to change it. Um, but I love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all, uh, Cameo, if you've ever heard of Cameo, we got something coming up with that. The it, It'll be before February 1st. Also... Two different things on Cameo. One is is where I'm going to be doing cameos, and the other one is we have some people that are going to that are going to come on and talk about real life, real crime. But so that's in the works. And then um, what else? Uh, new ringtones. Toby Tom play has mi- done some great mixes on stuff that I, if that's not released already, I think there's like four of them, y'all. Uh, uh, one of them's pretty funny. And you know, page remembers you, you get the unedited commercial free version early uh, before everybody else and and monsters. I was fortunate enough to drop it like a week early twice in the, so you get to hear all the bloopers and the, and the boom Tobies and and stuff like that. So, but shit, I'm trying to think what else I'm supposed to say. Anyway, thank you so much. I know this wasn't much, but it's a little bit. Thank you for, uh, for y'all inviting other people. And I say every 10,000, I'll get on and tell something stupid or funny The the, uh, and, and I hope y'all made you smile this morning or whenever you're listening to this. So, real life, real crime. And thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to be two years old, uh, uh, February, I think the 3rd, y'all, February 3rd. And we're going to be over three and a half million listens in two years. And we were only at like, you know, last February, we were only at a million. So, you do the math, but that's because of y'all best fans in the world. I appreciate you. Uh, local advertisers, reach out y'all. If you want, if, uh, if you're in the state of Louisiana or you're, you know, you got, you got a product you want to advertise. Look, we do all the national commercials and, uh, that's fine, but I want to support local like, uh, black sheep creative, the, 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 that's uh clint sanchez's company where they do all our web design and all that and y'all should go check that out because he's been working on updating our website and all that stuff black sheep creative you i mean of course we su- support our local musicians even though they can't play shit right now the chase tyler band y'all when the, when it comes back on yeah i mean they're going to be rocking it uh uh toby tom play I mean, he's he's our producer, and he, he he wears many different hats. But hell, I mean, he's a performer. 
and and an excellent musician and and we uh those guys are hurting but if you're a local business and we can support you and it's not a a conflict with one of our national commercials and then we certainly are open to talking to you about whatever whether it's a, um I don't care if it's you know a local brewery or a restaurant or a law firm or whatever. Just reach out to us. We'll work something out because I, I believe in supporting local. Y'all know the fan base. Even though we're in 127 countries across the world, um, we have a huge naturally following in Louisiana. So anyway, I'm not going to take any more of y'all's time. Uh, patron members, don't be afraid to use your benefits. Yearly patron members, you get all your benefits at one time. Uh, all lifers, thank you for listening and liking and sharing. Y'all, please continue to tell other people about us and and, and help us grow and watch us grow. Uh, and just big things are coming. We just got to get past COVID. And I just thank you so, so much for everything. Um, open to suggestions, y'all. And I try to respond to every single person on uh that, that messages me across all our platforms and my, like instagram is at real life real crime or at overton woody uh i don't know i mean but we have so many I, i'm supposed to memorize all the stuff but it is what it is lopa y'all know how i feel about that louisiana organ procurement agency give the gift of life take a minute go to lopa.org sign up to be an organ donor you're not going to care if you're dead anyway if they use your organs but it's saving lives every day they're a nonprofit organization they're my personal mission sign up be an organ donor give the gift of life or sight and then I'll be back next week, y'all, with a new series. I, I don't know if it's going to be a series, but it's going to be a probably at least a two-parter. But it's called Pad Tracks, P-A-D-T-R-A-X, and, and I'll leave it at that. Other than saying evidence, evidence, evidence. Evidence is everything uh, that to a criminal case, to a really good criminal case, evidence is key. Other than your interviews, which even your interviews are considered evidence, right? But the the information you get out of them. But you, uh, other than working a crime scene, well, when you work your crime scene, you're collecting evidence. But other than maybe being in court, shit, evidence is everything. Evidence probably takes up 90% of your time on a case. But how evidence is handled in uh what is done with it is hugely important. And I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, it's going to piss you off, but then I'm going to tell you how we're going to remedy it, how we're going to fix it going forward. And and everybody in the world needs to listen to the next episode, Pad Tracks. So anyway, that's it. And I'm Woody Overton, your host of Real Life, Real Crime, the podcast. And until next time or ever, don't let me catch you down on Murder by You. Peace. Get ready, you're gonna do time. Real life, real crime. Real life, real crime is a true crime podcast brought to you by Woody Overton and executive producer Toby Template.